Dear friends, you represent a movement that I cherish deeply and have spent most of my working life in. So it's an honor to speak to you today and I would like to thank my friend Secretary General Walter Sanchez for inviting me. I know that you had other plans for your third global congress. The ongoing pandemic has affected us all and the effects are devastating. The pandemic has exposed and enhanced inequalities between men and women, educated and uneducated, rich and poor. And on top of the pandemic, we are facing dramatic changes to our climate. This is a threat that is present today and we must tackle it now, not only in the future. The climate, like the pandemic, is a global threat. And global threats require global action. But threats also bring opportunities if we take the right approach. I know that change requires inclusive thinking to be successful. If we are to transform the way we live and do business, we need to get everyone on board. But first and foremost, people need to know that their livelihoods are not at stake that their working conditions and rights will not be disregarded. Labor rights are basic human rights. And a feeling of security is a precondition for the will to change. For this reason, I have insisted that EU cooperation has a stronger focus on improving people's lives. The adoption of the European Pillar of Social Rights in Gothenburg in 2017 was an important step in the right direction. At international level, we need to give the ILO strong tools to push for basic labor rights. The future world of work must provide decent working conditions for all, not just some, as President Ramaphosa and I stated in 2019 in our joint report on the topic. Strong international cooperation between unions is essential. When I took part in your Congress in 2015, I was fairly newly elected Prime Minister. At that time, I introduced the concept or a vision of a global structure for tripartite cooperation, a global deal. The Global Deal initiative was launched in 2016 and is now hosted by the OECD with the support of the ILO. I am very happy that Industry Old Global Union is a member and I hope that you are benefiting from the global deal and the structure that it provides. With decent working conditions and respect for fundamental labor rights, we can increase productivity, promote inclusive growth, and face a new era together. You, my friends at Industry or Global Union, are a vital part in realizing that goal. This is the last time I will speak to you in the capacity of Prime Minister of Sweden as I have announced my resignation. But rest assured that when I leave office, I will in no way abandon my commitment to the fight for equality and labor rights and my commitment to the movement that I'm so proud to share with all of you. Thank you.